Hello guys and welcome back to the Tank Club. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most popular tank questions, which is where should I apply my attributes and what should my stats be? So we're going to look purely at attributes for this video and talk more about the other things another time. Uh, we've already covered resistances in a previous video and the link for that is on the screen now. So the big thing here is that your attributes are one of the few things that you can kind of tailor to your own needs as a tank. For group content, you often need certain gear, certain skills, maybe even certain CP. But one of the things you have full control over is your attributes. So you can utilize them in whichever way is best for you. And whatever you need, what areas you need to improve your build. If you need more stamina, if you need more magicka, if you need more health, whatever it is, you can customize those to fit the needs of what you need as an individual. It's worth noting that since the Flames of Ambition patch, all level 50 plus characters have increased base stats. So we have 16k health, 12k magicka and stamina as kind of a base value. And that's an increase from previous patches of 7,256 more health and 3,256 more magicka and stamina. So this means that tanks can have some really high max stats, which is great for both our survival and our sustain. So I have a personal preference of using 64 points into health, even now with the increased stats. So it's my personal preference. I do it with all my characters, with every tank on every class. I've got Nord tanks and Imperial tanks, and it doesn't matter which one. I still use the same setup of 64 points into health. And the kind of standard setup of gear that I use to go alongside that is I always use full sturdy, full tri-stat. So everything sturdy and tri-stat. If I'm in a boss fight, I'll always use Triune Magical Recovery Jewelry for the extra max. So I'm getting lots and lots of max stats overall. I'd, I'd probably typically use Swift and a different gear setup for ad pulls. So this is purely talking about, let's say, a boss fight. So this stuff is all preference. I really like the stat increase from Triune, and it allows me to cast more skills and worry less about my sustain. And the Triglyphs are very, very good as well. They are expensive, so if I wasn't using them, I would likely go with all my points into health still, and then use stamina, enchants on my chest, my shield, my legs, my head, and then magical glyphs on the feet, the waist, the hands, the shoulder, to give me that similar kind of balance to what I've got now. So if you look at my max stats here, we have a large amount of base stats, 23k magicka, 45k health, 24k max stamina. The reason I use all my points into health is because I have a lot of different gear options that I chop and change depending on the content and the situation that I'm in. So those different gear options may change my max stats, so some of them won't have... the per Like the perfected Yolnacrin that I'm using now has an increase of max health on the five piece, whereas if I switch to a different setup, it might be a max stamina. Um, and so when I do switch stuff, my health doesn't drop too low and I don't have to change things or run different... I don't have to change anything. I don't have to keep changing my attributes. I just use gear setups with different glyphs on to accommodate the stats that I want rather than have to keep changing my attributes around depending on the gear sets that I'm using. The way you need to kind of figure out what's best for you is firstly you need to think about your health. Now health is very important as a tank and I do see a lot of guides and a lot of guides and setups and things like that which say you should go with 35k health etc. It's actually quite difficult to set up a tank with such low health right now. And the thing with health is, yes, there, there are mechanics in the game um, like where incoming damage will potentially hit you for a percentage of your max health rather than a set value amount. So you could say that if you have more max health, then you're going to get hit for more in that situation. However, if you consider that, let's say you've taken a hit of 80% of your max health, and the 20% you've got left over, is that that's going to be more if you had more initial start in max health. So if you had 35k health, you get hit for 8%, you're going to have much lower health at 20% than you would if your starting health would have been 45k. So if you have a higher max health pool, it gives you more of an opportunity to stay alive. So the more health you have, the easier it is to take damage, the easier it is to stay alive. And for newer players, it gives you much more room for error and the possibility to make mistakes and not die. But you do have to be very careful how you balance, balance this out. So generally, I always sit somewhere between 40 to 45k health in most of my setups nowadays. And that is perfect for completing virtually all content in the game, including vet and hard mode content. You can't ramp it. Like, if you do 
decide to put everything into health if you went healthy jewelry full health enchants 64 points into health you got 60k max health that is taking it a little bit too far because you can't just ramp health up to 60k because your sustain is seriously going to suffer so there becomes a point where you have to stop increasing your max health and work on your sustain because if you run out of stamina then you can't block so even if you've got 50k health you're potentially going to die to a heavy attack if you have to take that unblocked because you run out of stamina and the same applies to your magicka so as a tank the large majority of your skills cost magicka and most importantly things like your self heal usually cost magicka as well so if you don't have enough magicka then you can't cast a heal or a shield or any skills and things like that so my suggested kind of base stats for tanking Generally, I would say you want at the absolute very least 38k max health. But this leaves you with very little room for error as a newer tank. So somewhere between 40 in, in the region of 45k, depending on if you need it or not, with a food buff would be very good. Now remember, for trial content, you'll usually have a warden as well, which also gives you minor toughness, which is 10% more max health. So you could end up, if you've got a lot of health already, and then you get the Warden buff on top, you could end up with 50k plus max health. And that is absolutely fine if you need it. However, it does give you the option to lower your health and put your points into other areas and maximise your other stats as well. So you've got to remember, in like different situations, if you feel like you only want to go for 40k health and you're on 45, lower your health down a little bit and put more points into stamina if you need it. Just use them for whatever you need. Figure out that health point and then lower it down and put points into other areas if you need to. So max stamina is obviously very important for taunting, blocking, roll dodging, breaking free. And I would say that a minimum of kind of 22, 23k is where you want to be at. But you should be trying to push potentially even 24, 25k if it fits with your build and if your build allows that to potentially reach that point. Because stamina is important and you want to start off with a good amount of max stamina because it means you can block for longer, you need to do less heavy attacks and you can kind of sustain for a longer period of time. You still need to be able to sustain though. You still need to remember to heavy attack and do other things as well. So having really high stamina is great, but if you don't kind of utilize the stamina and your ability to restore stamina, then you're still going to run out of stamina. So you need to still be able to sustain no matter how much max stamina you have. And for Max Magicka, you want this to be slightly less than your stamina generally since you can easily generate Magicka back uh, even when blocking via your Magicka Recovery and the Major Skills Skill Balance. If you have more Magicka than stamina, when you use an Orb Synergy or a Shard Synergy from a Templar or a Healer or that kind of thing, the stats that you gain back, the resources you gain back from that won't be stamina. So you'll find it much harder to sustain your stamina if your Magicka is higher than your stamina. You don't want to be stuck in kind of combat spam cast in balance and you don't want to run out of magic after casting two skills so you should kind of aim for a minimum of 20k max magicka well you might be able to push this up to 22k plus depending on your build if you're able to get to that kind of re if you've got a lot of max stamina already maybe you've got 25 26k max stamina and you've got 45k health you can potentially reduce your health down a few thousand and then bring your max magicka up a little bit to go alongside that so basically just to kind of recap everything Max health is the most important stat initially, but when you reach a point of comfort, you need to start applying points into other areas. You need to start increasing your other stats so that you have the option of being able to sustain as well. So just make sure you're not sacrificing your sustain for more max health and make sure you're not sacrificing more like having too much stamina and magicka, but not enough health. So just balance it out and customize everything depending on what you need as an individual. If you've got any questions, guys, let me know in the comments below. For more information, we've got a beginner tank guide on thetankclub.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.